Welcome back everyone to another video. Today I'm gonna to be taking a look at SE ranking. It's an SEO tool. I've just been getting bombarded with ads for it. So uh, I wanna check it out, see what's see what's good, see what's bad, how it compares to Ahrefs and SEMrush and all that good stuff. So let's just dive right in. First thing I see is the keyword research tool. A uh, bunch of other tools here on the side. I'll see what I wanna to get to. I'm just kind of, uh, what do you call it? Ballpark in it, seeing what I like and what I don't like, I'm using it with a new client. So let's see what we get. Uh, it looks like you can plug in, looks like you can plug in a text or a CSV file. So if you have a bunch of different keywords, uh, that works too. So let's see what we get. I think I have a couple of more uses for the day. All right, what do we get right away? We have the difficulty, very important. Most of the keyword tools have this. History search volume. This is, you know what? Um, this is actually really good. I was looking for a tool, and I think Semra, uh, I think that Ahrefs has the best uh, kind of long-term data um, and most accurate, so. And I think you can find this stuff probably on the Google Search Console or uh, the Keyword Planner. So uh, the Google Ads Planner and the trend of the keyword. So um, that's a really good tool to know when a keyword is, you know, gaining ground depending on the difficulty. Looks like it was updated. I'm not sure what that uh, if it's it seems like this would be a recent update if they're kind of putting it up there. Cost per click, you know, this. Uh, I've started looking at this a lot more uh, in my own uh, with my own clients uh, because you know if it is fairly easy difficulty and it's pretty high CPC for this industry I suppose and that means that people are paying for it so that's good and then we have keyword ideas so this is pretty good we have questions that's good too. Uh, then it shows us our SERP results, which is good. We know what the market is. We know who's ranking, who's gaining, who's losing grounds. Um, most popular ads. Okay, well, let's see what the detailed report shows. And again, yeah, this I like. I like this. This is. Uh, I didn't see this on the last time I searched, but I do like this trend. Analysis looks like they're all kind of going up. People, people dealing with crisis. So that's good to see. Get some related keywords. You can take these. I would assume these are all pretty good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something here. I don't know if I can add. Can I export? Or are they gonna let me? Oh, well, looks like they are. Let's do an Excel. Export not allowed. Okay. So, anyways, you can still. You know, with the premium plan, imagine, let's pretend that we can export this stuff. So that's good. Uh, what else do we have here on the side? Shows you the organic results. What's going on there? SERP history, not really interested in that. I'm not sure what that is. This is, uh, this is a big one that I wanted to try out is the competitive research tool. I guess North America is fine. Let's see what we get. Okay, so it gives you a nice breakdown, <clears throat> right? So we have North America, and then it breaks it down to Canada, US. This is the majority of the business. Some in Mexico, but you know, outliers. So we got our trust, we got our page trust, organic traffic, the growth. I think this is for the month. So, you know, first, uh, first impressions is that the layout and the UI is very nice. I mean, nothing you can say. Some of the other ones, uh, eh, kind of, you know, plain. Uh, there you have your backlinks. That's good. Referring domains. Good. I mean, look, it looks really nice. And I'm assuming that if you can export it, this makes it a whole lot better. So my first impressions, I'm impressed. But Let's see, what else? And then other SERP features, videos. What happens if I click here? Hmm, 
nothing. So yeah, you get the gist. Uh, kind of the same stuff. Like if you ever used SEMrush, I mean, they're just, you know, they're trying to take all of the features that people love. This thing is right from SEMrush. Uh, I use SEMrush a lot. Uh, I don't know if it's directly, if they're the ones that came up with it, I don't know. There's a lot of sharing going around. Let's see. Organic traffic. I don't know what I get here. Okay, so it's just kind of the same screens back and forth. Uh, it doesn't give you too many options. There's a whole lot more here, obviously, with the paid plan. Uh, let's continue this, shall we? Oh, so, so what happens with this? I did it on a couple other websites. I'll add some screenshots here. I uh, did a couple of website audits, and it just gives me some information about, you know, broken links. So it's some technical SEO stuff, which is really good. So it crawls your website, gives you all that stuff. Uh, let's come back to this on-page SEO checker. What does this mean? Uh, it's gonna give you another audit. Depth of analysis, top five. So yeah, this is just gonna give you a audit on your keywords and I'm pretty sure it's just going to show you if, if it's let's say if it's a blog it's just going to show you how many times your keyword appears there if that's good enough uh, not really necessary uh, SERP analyzer I mean you can kind of do that stuff on your own search engine autocomplete um, again you can do that if you just if you go here like business management, uh, crisis management, and you hit plus, and there you go. That's going to give you the most fillable, or if you go beforehand, you hit plus, um, it's going to be there. So no reason to pay for that. Search, that's autocomplete. Search volume checker. You know, if you want to do a quick search, that's pretty good. New check. Um, I think I'm gonna have to pay for this. I don't know, but anyway. So yeah, this obviously this obviously isn't a full review, but you know, just first impressions. And I'm trying to find the stuff that I'll actually use. Tons of features. Like if you're a technical SEO, like a lot of there's a lot of redundancies here, and I think the way that they set up the competitive analysis to simply tra track keywords that I put in the project and how each of the competitors is ranking for. I mean, maybe for some, it's just not how I, you know, I'm very particular with how the methodology is of what I do. But, you know, for, look, the the display is very nice. The The UI, like I said, is very good. There's a, there, Then there's like this content marketing piece so it's probably like an ai yeah so samrush has that too now a bunch of others um you can do with chat gpt check out my videos there uh there's a content writer some local marketing this is new this is good if you're doing local yeah yeah and I, i've seen some uh, seo tools start doing this and do yeah look but in a particular area because the seo results are a lot different there so um that's pretty good. I don't know what this stuff is. Oh, business profile. Okay, okay, got it. So yeah, just trying. They're just trying to find different ways to compile data. Uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, I don't know how good that video is gonna be for you, but anyways, I'm gonna post it anyways, just so you can get a kind of a feel and what to expect with SE ranking. So. Uh, if you're still here, thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Please comment, like. What do you think? Cheers.